welcome all the visitors here tonight. I'd also like to turn it over this time to Mr. McCaleb. He's going to read our prayer list and lead us in our prayer. <clears throat> Okay. Thank you, Ms. Shoulders. We want to remember the Mauveline Swan family. This is Eric Swan's grandmother and Holly Ann Anderson's grandmother-in-law passed away. And, and Holly is Ricky Shoulders' his daughter. <clears throat> the passing of Joe Rich family, Debbie Rich, his father-in-law, and Amy Lee's grandfather. The James Woodard family, Caitlin Woodard's father-in-law passed away. The Bowman family, Becky Hackett's brother passed away. The Pete Williams family, Kim White's brother passed away. Glennie Green's family, let's remember Kelly Bell's father, he's not feeling well. Uh, Danny Clare, he's still not, he's not feeling well. Anna, a student at Smith County High School. Kara, a student at GHS. And then TCAP started this week. So let's remember the students that are testing for the next few weeks and is there anyone else that we would like to add for this list for prayer the, uh, the, the Woodard family <clears throat> the long time roofer he, he passed away yeah yeah remember them also anyone else let's pray heavenly father we just thank you for this opportunity to come before you father this day that you created lord we love you we want to exalt you in everything we do we pray for this board we pray for our county our students our teachers faculty and god we just bless you and thank you for what you've done for all of us we'll never know what you've done until we see you father and we just thank you for your sacrifice upon the cross we praise you and thank you for this in jesus name we pray amen, amen. amount of respect for this individual and and there is no telling uh, even before our time being on this board the things that this man did to take care of the school system and I, I think we all know that um, I wanted to do something for him uh, earlier but Mr. Winker said he'd probably make him mad at me and I, I'm still about, I love him death, still about half scared of him, I didn't want to make him mad, so you know, <laughs> we, we put that off, but we have uh, had this plaque created uh, out of the uh, deepest respect and honor that we have for him and gratitude um, to his family for having shared him with us in this community and these children and the things that he did for all of us. And it's Mr. Jackie Beller, Smith County Board of Education, school board attorney, 45 plus years of service, February the 8th, 1938, through April the 12th, um, 2021. And I, if you'll allow me, I'll yes. present this to the We're 
so we're thrilled to have the opportunity to do this and we thank you so much again for sharing it with us. Now, with your uh, permission, what we'd like to do is have it an exact duplicate of that made to hang in the boardroom as long as there is boardroom. If the suits the family all right. Thank you so much. Well, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next thing on your agenda is uh, Mrs. Barbara Knapple. She has brought her kids here from the spot. Uh, they would like to kind of get us up and give us a presentation of what they actually do. Ms. Canal. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Uh, we are with Youth and Family Resource Center, and this is our community action team. And this is a picture of kind of where this started. We have been for 10 or 11 years, every summer we take students to UT Martin. Uh, and they do a whole week at UT Martin, it's called Tennessee Teen Institute, and they, it is a week of prevention, education, just all kinds of wonderful speakers from all across the United States, and they're going to tell, first of all, um, as you see their photo from Tennessee Teen Institute, they're going to tell a little bit to get, bring you up to date on what Tennessee Teen Institute meant to them. TTI to me felt like a place where kids could go and be taught the dangers of underage drinking, tobacco use, and vaping. I'm Abigail Siemens. I'm from Gordonsville High School. Okay. Excuse me. I saw TTI as an event hosted by the Tennessee Teen Institute to improve the choices of young people and cultivate the leadership skills. Uh, I'm Isaac Tork. I'm homeschooled. And uh, it was great to be able to spend the week at UT Martin and be able to socialize with over 400 other Tennessee youth. Hi, my name is Krista Bailey. I'm from Gordonsville High School. And while at TTI, we came up with a community action plan to come back and share with our community. So that's what you're going to hear today. Our mission is to reduce underage vaping and tobacco usage among the youth of Smith County. Uh, we have some partnerships with the part of the Smith County School System, Smith County Law Enforcement, Tennessee Juvenile Court, uh, sad clubs at GHS and SCHS, GHS Interact Club, GHS HOSA Club, and Smith County Drug Prevention Coalition and local media. Why did we choose reducing vape as our objective? As of February 2020, there have been almost 3,000 hospitalized cases and 64 deaths, two deaths in Tennessee, due to the Valley Electronic Vaping Associated Lung Injuries. In 2016, more than 2 million middle school and high school students stated they had used e-cigarettes cigarettes in the past 30 days. Within one year, 20% of students who vape will start to use cigarettes. Nicotine can harm the developing adolescent brain. Using nicotine in adolescents may also increase risk for future addiction to other drugs. Vape is an aerosol that can change heavy metals into microfine particles that are transferred deep into the lungs. Vape contains diacetyl, which has been linked to popcorn lung, which is a disease that harms uh, deep in your lungs. Vape contains nickel, tin, lead, and nicotine. According to the CDC, some contain nicotine even if they are marketed to be nicotine free. Smoking one jewel pod is equal to smoking an entire packet of cigarettes. Using vape can lead children to begin smoking cigarettes. After research and planning, we have some possible solutions. Education before citation. We, decide, we believe that in increasing access to tobacco education and sensation classes and resources for, public, for the public to spread awareness and reduce underage tobacco usage. We want to offer, we want to offer minors on the first offense education and on the second offense a, a citation. We will, achieve, we will achieve this by educating our community using flyers, billboards, parent workshops, 
and choosing to change classes. And by educating students through vaping warnings, warnings in the student handbook, partnerships with school media, Tiger TV and LTV, peer-to-peer -peer education, and building community partnerships. How will success be measured? Decrease the number of students vaping slash decrease in number of citations, increase in the number of students getting help for vaping and addiction. This is what we have done so far. We have used social media to educate youth and promote good choices. Partnered with Gordonsville High School to create anti-vaping apps. state law uh, makers to discuss vaping solutions. And these, uh, these are some of the bills that we saw in the current uh, session at the legislature. And some, some bills, some of these have passed, I'm not, I haven't checked on all of them recently, but some of the bills, the first one would add smokeless nicotine products to the re, uh, age restricted to 21 years or um, older. I believe last year they raised the age for smoking to 21, but they didn't add in vaping products. So I think this year they've added in vaping products is my understanding. And then there was also a bill that would allow local governments to restrict or prohibit smoking and vaping in age restricted venues. It kind of gives um, Smith County the right to limit that if it's where children are present, uh, an event where children are present. And then, um, and also, another bill created a Class C misdemeanor for those under age 21 possessing vapor products on public school property. So the legislature is working to get, get ahead of the tobacco companies. I did just see something that came in this week, too, that I think Tennessee also is looking at. Um, just left my mind. I'm probably more nervous than they are. Uh, 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 oh, the synthetic tobacco. So the tobacco companies were getting around the, the law or the FDA by using synthetics, but the, they've given that this law would give the FDA the right to also uh, regulate synthetic tobacco. We created media to educate on ingredients of e-cigarettes. And the picture at the bottom is actually some of these students. Foster Cooper is a Smith County High School student, could not be here tonight. But these students um, met with the Drug Coalition and they created radio ads that are playing locally about um, the dangers of vaping. So they received uh, recognition from the Drug Coalition. This is how we could work together to reduce underage vaping. We could create SAD clubs in all schools and not just high schools. Increase signs in school bathrooms and other social medias and we could review school policies to increase vaping education. So these are kind of some things that they wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit more. Thank you, get some help. Thank you, Mr. Barry Smith and Smith County School Board members for your service to our students. And thank you all so much. Do you have any questions for the students? This is the scary part for them. They were like, what if they ask us something <laughs> I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you and your presentation and what it represents. 
uh, and it's nervous for us to be up here too, so that's okay. <laughs> but I, I, I found all of you to be well spoken and it's very informative and it takes a lot to stand up and do that. I'm very proud for you and what you're representing. Thank you so much. Let's give him a round. I want to say one more thing. I do appreciate uh, Judge Biller being here and Mary Leslie with the Drug Coalition. We do have a lot of support. The juvenile judge is supporting these kids. He's met with them, and uh, Mary Leslie's done a lot of work with them. So it takes all of us working together as a community, and we appreciate that. Okay, let's go on to new business. Extension. Uh, Director's contract. I have a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Any discussion? Pardon? I've got to get it. Oh, okay. All right. uh, I'm going to do a roll call on this. You don't care. Who made the motion? Uh, Mr. Jones. Mr. Lewis. Second. Got it. Thank you. Okay, there's no discussion. Uh, Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Apple? Yes. Mr. McTaylor? Yes. Mr. Taylor? Yes. Mr. Manning? Yes. Mr. Glover? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Okay, let's go to uh, everyone have a chance to look at the consent item. Do you want to pull any of them forward or vote on them? have a motion. So moved. Second. Mr. Glover, second. Any more discussions? <coughs> uh, not. Uh, all in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, let's go on to superintendent's action. Yeah, we won't have a chance to look at those. Anything y'all would like to pull about that? If not, we'll go on to new business. Give me just a second right here. Policy amendment 6.2, excuse me, 6.206 transfers within the system. Which one is it? You have a motion. I'll make a motion. Second. Second. Discussion. Fine. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Policy amendment 1.400 school board meetings. Now, uh, do I have a motion on that one? Which one we have, sir? I've got uh, yeah, so it's the school board meeting policy amendment. Now, what that consists of is yeah. changing the uh, time that we uh, are doing. Uh, let's see. Let me get to that. I'll be here we just say uh, the uh, policy 1.400 is a school board meeting changing the regular meeting of the board from third Tuesday of the month to the month uh, has not been set yet on a Monday of the month at 5 p.m. unless otherwise scheduled by the board with an adequate notice. So moved. No. So moved. Um, you just need an emotion. Uh, and, uh, and we need to set up for, I guess, in the motion, need to set up. Uh, no, which we, Monday? Yeah, what Monday? Well, you need a second so you can get some discussion on first. Yes, I, mean, I need, also need a second. All right, I'll second it. Let's okay. say we have some discussion. Okay, now if we can open up discussion. Uh, we have not, we normally meet on the third Tuesday night of the month. Uh, and if we, if this goes through and uh, we'll still meet at five o'clock, but it'll be on Monday, but what time of the month? Or others may have discussion, but I, mean, I, I just made the so they can have our opportunity to speak. Right. Personally, it don't affect me either way. Uh, whoever, you know, if, if someone has a uh, a problem with it being on a certain day, I'm, I'm good either way. So, uh, you want to keep it at the third Tuesday? Uh, third, uh, if we change it to Monday, you still want to do it on the third? Uh, of the third week of the month. Yes, Mr. Lamper, did, did we not discuss this? Or is there any Monday, or a Monday that either going for city or they make the second? Second Monday, so we had to make sure that's what I was trying to stay away from. And wasn't there a county commission? I think there was a second Monday. It was second Monday. Second, second. We just need to stay away from it. So the third, the the third Monday, was it going to be the second Monday? <clears throat> somebody, somebody meets on this third Monday. I can't remember who it is. 
I was thinking. That's what I was thinking too. I couldn't remember what it was. Is it city, Carthage City? Uh, I, I don't know, but I, I'll go ahead and tell you, I'm not in favor of changing it. I think it needs to stay what it is. Uh, I mean, we, we, we knew what it was when we took this position. We start moving it around, it may hinder or someone else on the board. So, just my two cents. Just for my part of it, Mr. Chairman, I'm not going to be offended. I'm, I'm like Mr. Jones. Uh, I mean, whatever. It's a well pleasure of everybody who suits me fine. I, I'll work with whatever. I've got to come up with, we've got to have a day. I mean, we've got the day. I've got to have a time of month before we even vote for the Do the, do the third Monday. Third Monday, okay. Yes, Mr. Wayne. Mr. McKay, we just need to amend his motion. Okay. I'm in the motion. Make it to the that third. Set it up on the third Monday. Yes, sir. Of each month. Yes, sir. You second that, sir. Well, yes, sir. I will. Um, but also, I incur I mean, I. I'm not. You know, I won't be clear. Um, you know, Mr. McCaleb had a motion. The only way we can discuss it is to have a second. So I'm we'll second to open the floor up for it. So and if anybody's got. I mean, nobody's going to hurt my feelings either way. So, if anybody got any feelings about it or whatever, right, right now would be time to say it. Well, uh, my, I was one that, of course, everybody here knows that. I was one to make the motion to move this to a Monday night, and I just want to reiterate that, you know, my reasons for it was being self employed, and, and there's other people here, Joe Taylor, self employed, and uh, Mark Jones, and we just, um, messes up uh, and uh, you know I'm committed to be here what night I'm supposed to be here if it was to be uh, stay where it is I'm still committed it's not but I feel like this would this change is not asking for too much change I mean um, I just feel like this would this this would help some help me on this board but I'm willing to stay if it doesn't change. I'm still got a good, a good attitude with the board and doing my job, what I've been elected to do. Any more discussion from anybody? Also, Mr. Chalmers, when would you like to start meeting? If it passes, when would you like to start uh, meeting? Yes, the next meeting. Next meeting. Is that okay with everybody? That's if that's we, pending if it passes. If it, that's correct, if it passes. If I have no more discussion, I'm going to do a roll call on this one. Mr. Jones? Yes. Yes. Mr. Apple? No. Mr. McKayla? Yes. Mr. Taylor? No. Mr. Manning? No. Mr. Glover? No. Mr. Lewis? Uh, no. Myself? Yes. Okay. Three yeses? Got three yeses and one, two, three, four, five no's. So it stays third Tuesday as it was. Nothing's changed. We go on to new business D. Policy amendment 2.804 expenses and reimbursements. I'll make a motion. Mr. Manning. Second. Discussion. No discussion. Do a roll call on this one. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Albert? Yes. Mr. McKayla? Yes. Mr. Taylor? Yes. Mr. Manning? Yes. Mr. Glove? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Myself? Yes. New business E. Approval of how you pronounce these things with names? Wolf. 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 HFR design for the architectural engineering firm of two wellness centers at GHS and SCHS. Do I have a motion? Yes. Motion. Second. Second. Discussion. No discussion. Uh, Mr. Jones. Yes. Mr. Allen. Yes. Mr. McKay. Yes. Mr. Tate. Yes. Mr. Manning. Yes. Mr. Glover. Yes. Mr. Lewis. Yes. Seth. Yes.
approval of annual online policy maintenance agreement with TSBA. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. I second. second. Okay, Mr. Tyson, second. Okay, uh, this is money involved. Let's do uh, uh, any discussion. If not, Mr. Jones. Yes. Mr. Apple. Yes. Mr. McCaleb. Yes. Mr. Tyson. Yes. Mr. Manning. Yes. Mr. Glover. Yes. Mr. Lewis. Yes. So, yes. Approval of school support organization for the Smith County High School Girls Soccer Booster Club. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? New business H. This is bid approval for diesel fuel low bid you see what it is uh do i have a motion motion to approve mr jones second mr glover discussion uh, yes sir I'm, just so that we know it's good to have a fund balance but uh, i think if i understood correctly so she told me it's up a dollar and 31 cents from the last month we hope this thing ain't Escalating, but I just want to keep the board members of the county view when we go through. It's a good thing we, we budgeted, but, but it, it's dollar and 31 cents, I think, difference in the last night's pretty significant. <laughs> Y'all heard that. Any more discussion? Not in the Savile Road, <coughs> Mr. Jones. Yes. Mr. Albert. Yes. Mr. McCaleb. Yes. Mr. Taylor. Yes. Mr. Manning. Yes. Close. Yes. Mr. Lewis. Yes. So, yes. Let's see. I reckon that was everything except discussion of the FY23 budget work session and discussion of the FY23 work session. If need, then I do we need any more discussion on that? Okay. And okay. if there's anything, when you get your cut, there's anything that you'd like to see or I had her talk about contact on and I would be happy to meet with you or, or answer your questions. Hopefully we can get by the end of the month some more solid numbers too about exactly what the revenue is. When will you go to county court with this? May the 3rd. That's, uh, that's also, I'm glad that reminded me, we are off from school that day due to the election. Uh, obviously for safety reasons and for convenience purposes or using our buildings working with the election commission. So we will be off from school that day, but we would like to invite any of y'all to come with us that night. If you'd like, we appreciate it. We never have any problem with the county commission. Is that the budget finance committee? Budget finance, yeah. And I'll give you this. I think it's five, but they, they'll they give us an appointment, like whether they're first or late, and I'll get you more point down. I'll give you a profit if I thought. Don't we need to have a uh, meeting on this? Discuss it before he goes. Well, I think it's. I think we have to. I think this is a correct format. We take it from them, and they go, and then we'll approve it at the next one. But do we need to have a work session? That's what we're one? asking. If we need a work session, I think we do. We didn't know if, if you know when we talked today. I guess what you said will be suffice to matter. Well, we discussed, you know, but whatever you want, we can have one on it. Yeah, you feel the need. So she'll have more accurate details by then, won't she? Well, well, that's made that be uh, roughly two weeks. We don't know. I, I'm sorry I can't give you more concrete. We just don't know when it ever comes in from them. I think she said locally that it would be the end of June before they know what the penny value it would just be the BEP numbers would be the big thing. Well, I, I don't know how the other board members feel, and I know we went over a preliminary proposed budget but sometimes I, I like to see the some actual number we have the BEP money kind of see where it could we do a contingent aren't you could we, could we say if we get the numbers and if, if we get them. and if we don't we won't know no more than what she told you right, today but today we'll if as long as everybody's kind of on call well be the only thing we'd have to announce it to the public wouldn't we? Yeah. the meeting a work, a work session so I, I think you could give a reason 
Could we, could we, we, should, we, should we, go we schedule safe. one and if it wasn't there, cancel it? Yes. Just be safe? Yeah. yeah. How long are you going to cancel it? Be, 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 I'd be right. And then if she doesn't come in, we can still meet if you want to, but if the DP form, if the number doesn't come in, then we'll cancel it. When would this meeting be? Give us a date. Yes, yes. May 10th is what she gave me. May 10th. Is that good? Well, we got to go to May 3rd. May 3rd. It's when we meet, which is the... Uh, it's uh, a week and a half. You want to have a meeting on May the 2nd to the night before. Boom. Yeah. 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 She won't go to county court with us. She is, but the, the week before she's gone. What about Major Sixth? Well, I'm talking about the night before. On the that be on Monday night. Uh, their budget meeting is on the. You know when she's coming back. Uh, so next week she's gone. Yeah. She'll be back. Her Sunday. Yeah. Usually that's when they're going to have their budget. I mean their. Can I step back on? Yes. Sir. Yeah, just, just let him call right quick and see. The only thing, if you had some changes for her, we need to give her enough time before she's in the county court. Maybe we'll change off the club, say. Is that 24 hours? That's true. That may be fine. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, what is, what do we need to give if we can set it up to come on the second and do the, if she's here, she can drink. What, uh, how many days ahead do we need to do that? Notice public. I would go ahead and give a notice now that you plan a work session for May the second. Then if you realize you don't have the information you need, just cancel, cancel it. it. Okay. Just cancel it and give reasonable notice of the cancellation. If you don't have what you need right. within time, or you could always convene and say we don't have it. Okay. Be done with it. Uh, I would go ahead and advertise the meeting instead. Oh. Unless she's here, there's absolutely no reason to have it. Mm. I feel like she'll be back by the second of the second. She did tell me that today after day she had this long day, she better wouldn't be available for about three days. She's going out of town. But I think she'll be back. I think she can schedule. So she'll be back. Oh. I said in a second, she'll be back. What time? Five o'clock. Five o'clock, okay. Work session. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, the point where I don't think you said you didn't have anything to brought up during the executive session. Anybody else have anything? Did you set that meeting up for sure then? Yeah, May the 3rd, let me repeat that. I will announce that again. May the 3rd, there will not be any school with Pony County. That is election day. And some of our facilities are used to do voting. So there will not be any school that day. So do I have a motion to adjourn? Yes, sir. So, yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed?